Well, as we get closer to the new year, many workers are going through their benefit enrollment periods. Not only are we choosing health care options, but also looking at retirement plans and investments. Joining me is David Friedrich, Senior Vice President and Director of Wealth Planning at First Bank. And good morning to you. Good morning. Yeah, when we, you know, when you're planning retirement, you always say the, the earlier you start, the better. But for a lot of young people, they may have, you know, college loans that they have to pay back, or maybe they get a job, but it's not paying quite as well. So what do they do? Well, it's tough. Um, Albert Einstein once described the miracle of compound interest as the most powerful force in the mm -hmm. universe. And so the earlier you can save, the better off you'll be because the money that you save when you're young has a chance to grow and compound over time. So if you were to put away $10,000 when you're young uh, in your 20s and it grows at a modest rate of 5 or 6%, by the time you're 60, it's $10,000. Mm -hmm. Imagine if you put away $1,000 a month every month in wow. your 20s. You can retire at the age of 60, a multimillionaire, if you can be consistent in it. It's hard, but it is well worth it. How much do you suggest people put away to, you know, that, that they're going to live comfortably at retirement age? I would suggest, honestly, if they have access to something like a 401k uh -huh. or a 403b, one of these standard retirement plans, that they maximize the contribution, which is to say 19000 uh, in the year mm -hmm. um, 2019 goes up to 19500 next year. The more you can put away, the better off you'll be. The other aspect to this is once you put it away, don't touch it. Mm -hmm. So it's often um, tempting in your 30s and in your 40s when the kids need braces or the house needs to be repaired mm -hmm. that you have this large amount of money stocked away and it may be very tempting to reach in and try to take it out. But resisting that temptation is key to retirement as well. Yeah, what about medical bills and just kind of researching Bloomberg and different places? A lot of people are strapped with them. Is that something else to keep in mind as you get older? Absolutely, it is. But rather than tapping into your retirement mm -hmm. to pay medical bills, there are other great savings options. Uh, for instance, if you have a high deductible plan, an HSA, a health savings account, is an excellent way to make a tax deductible contribution. The, the account will grow tax free, and then you can take out the amount that you put in tax-free to pay for your medical bills. So um, I would suggest that if you are worried about medical bills, expand your financial horizon to include a health savings account and not just your retirement account. All right, say you're in your 40s or 50s and they're listening and say, David, I didn't do any of those things. I took my money out. How do I play catch up? What can I do now? Well, now is the time to start. However old you are, now is the time to start if you're not doing it yet. Mm -hmm. Maximize your contributions to your employer's uh, 401k or other qualified retirement fund. And when you hit 50, you can have a catch-up period, which means that starting at the age of 50, you can put an extra 6,000, 6,500 next mm -hmm. year in to help you catch up over that period of time. Even if you start in your late 40s and you start making maximum contributions with maximum catch-ups, you'll be pretty well set for retirement um, as long as you don't touch the money. That's the key thing. <laughs> that is the key. All right, leave it there. I think that's probably some good news. I know a lot of people are you know, stressed out about retirement. A lot of people today, they're not ready for it. They're not prepared. That's true. And, and retirement has changed a lot in the past mm -hmm. several decades. The retirement that we're going to have is different than the retirement that our parents were expected mm -hmm. to have. Uh, it used to be that retirement was made up of what was called the three-legged stool. It was made of Social Security, your employer's pension, and uh, your personal savings. Well, pensions have largely gone away. Defined benefit pensions have gone away. Mm -hmm. And employer savings have kind of mushed together to right. create the employer plan. So it is tough. It is something that requires to be very purposeful because now it's more upon the employee's shoulder than the employer's shoulder. Mm -hmm. But a good plan like a 401k or a 403b should be able to help you get through, especially in a tax-favored way. All right, very good. David, thank you so much. We appreciate your time this morning with First Bank. More information.